Hey guys, welcome back to our Disney side. This week I am finally starting a series that you guys have been requesting and requesting and requesting. It's finally happening. I reached out to you guys on Twitter and Facebook to see if I was to start a pin collection series, what of my small collections would I start with? So after some votes and tabulating and all that good stuff, we have decided to do my characters with cameras. Just another magic Monday. So I've laid out all of my characters with camera pins face down. I'm going to unveil them one or two at a time, depending on what they are. So I'm going to start with this one here. This is from a mystery box. And it is Minnie, obviously holding a camera. I'm not going to keep saying holding a camera because they're all holding cameras. This next one is very similar to that. It's the same sort of design, but it shows Minnie full body. And this pin is actually from Hong Kong Disneyland. It's one of my favorites because it's super glossy and sparkly. It's a very, very pretty pin. And I like that it has all different icons from the parks all around her. This next one, I believe, is from a mystery box for Animal Kingdom. I could be wrong, but uh, I just saw this one with Daisy. And I think I traded our friend Carol for this one. I found this one online from a pin seller. Unfortunately, I can't remember what the website was called, but um, this one was just sold individually for like $5. I thought it was a good deal. It's got Mickey holding his camera and a Mickey Pop. And he's standing in front of the castle. One of the things I think is really cute about this pin is that you can see Mickey in flip-flops and you can see his bare toes <laughs> rather than his big, typical yellow shoes. I think it's unique. I'm going to show these two because I got them both together. They're not from the set or anything like that, but I got them from a trade. When we first started going to our pin events locally, um, Gabe, who was the one that hosts everything, he had a trade anything board, and both of these pins actually came off of it. So they're older. Um, this one I think is from 2005, and then this one is so old. <laughs> it's so old. It doesn't have like a an actual pin trading stamp or anything, it's just got the copyright of Disney on it. But I like that he's got the goofy hat on as well, it's a nice little touch. These two here are from a pin series. If you've seen our Dayton Disney Anna vlogs, then you would see where I got them from, but uh, what I've learned about these pins is there are more of them, I'm still on the hunt for more, but uh, I think it was through Kodak or some sort of film that if you bought a four pack of film, you would get one of these pins with it. So this one we've got Pluto. He's got a little camera on his tail. And then this little icon here with Tinkerbell, it says share the magic. So that was part of the promo with that. I guess it was like a box of film or something like that. And then I also got a Donald one. I actually love this pin so much. We got Donald having a very hard time with his film. Uh, he's got it wrapped around his beak and he looks very frustrated. This next pin, I'm gonna give a shout out to one of our fellow pin friends and viewer, Tracy, the wonderful, wonderful Tracy. She uh, was introduced to this pin because of me and now she's hunting for it for herself. But uh, this is from a series called Wild About Safety. It's with Timon and Pumbaa and it's just, uh, there's all these different pins about be aware and, and other other things to do with safety, but this one, I think this is the only one in the series that I needed because it has Timon taking a picture of Pumbaa and his tail is being run over by a streetcar. Obviously, he was not aware of his surroundings. This is number 5 of 12 in the series and it does not have a date on the back, but I can always look into that and post a little caption here as to when it was designed. This next one is an open edition rack pin that I believe is still available in the parks. I could be wrong, but it is from recent years. It's Goofy taking a photo of Donald. He's wearing a Mickey hat, holding a Mickey bar, and holding a Mickey balloon. He's feeling very festive. And then there's the partner statue, and then Cinderella Castle in the background. It's a very nice pin on pin. I believe it's triple pin on pin. Got where the castle would be, the partner statue, and then uh, Donald and Goofy are their own separate pins, so there's like four pin elements involved in this pin. It's very, very 
complex and pretty. Moving on, these are my more hard to find and limited edition pins for my camera collection. First, I'm gonna start off with this one. It is a Tokyo prize pin. And this was, I believe, the pin that started it all for my characters with cameras. I got this when I got a job as a school photographer. I got this pin as kind of like my little storyteller to mark the occasion of my new job. And I believe how you would get these pins from Tokyo is um, some some sort of arcade game or something like that. And it would be kind of like a gachapon or, you know, those little capsule sort of games. But yeah, I found this over Instagram a few years back and it's one of my favorites. This one was a recent trade. It's a very old, I believe this may have even been like early 90s because this is for Disney on Ice but it was when Disney on Ice was considered Disney World on Ice and you can just kind of tell by the coloring it's a it's quite a vintage pin and I don't know if there's a year on the back there is no year on the back I have tried to locate it on pin picks I'm still looking for it haven't been able to find it but it's Mickey with an old video camera probably for TV or movies and this one here was another acquisition from Dayton, Ohio. This pin is from NBC. This was from when the Olympics were in Salt Lake City in 2002. And the cool thing about this pin is the only way that you could actually get it is if you were on the NBC camera crew. So for me to have it is pretty neat. The last three are my limited editions in my collection. I'm going to do these two together because they were from a set. These are Disney Soda Fountain pins. They came on a postcard and they also did come with a Jessica Rabbit pin, but I wasn't too crazy about the style of that one, so I ended up trading it. Um, all of the pins from this set were limited edition 400 and they, like I said, they came on a postcard and it was Russell, Stitch, and Jessica Rabbit and I believe a... I think it was a double-decker bus in front of the Ghirardelli soda fountain. The reason I don't remember what it looks like is <laughs> Lori, who is an old pin friend from Instagram, uh, when we traded for the set, she went and picked it up for me, and her cat knocked it off the fridge and then her dog ate the postcard. <laughs> so if you guys want to see what that looked like as far as when I opened it, I do have a video from my old channel my solo channel that I haven't really touched in two years, but I will link it below if you want to see my reaction when I first open this postcard. So anyway, we've got Russell and Stitch and they're very, well, Stitch has got a really good tourist vibe going on with sunglasses and a Hawaiian shirt. And like I said, they are LE 400. Now this last pin from my camera collection is a Lilo and Stitch pin from 2004, I believe. It's to celebrate the first day of summer, June 21st. And I just really like this pin because of, um, this is one of my favorite poses that Stitch does when he's so proud of his little sandgazzle. But then you got Lilo taking his picture. That's just a fun little pin. And this one is limited edition 1000. So there you have it guys. That is my characters with camera collection. And if this is something you guys are enjoying, I can certainly keep doing these pin collection videos. Um, I think I might keep getting you guys to tell me which ones you want to do. One thing I will mention, I know you guys know I collect Aladdin, but it's a very big collection. So um, that one's probably going to be a four-parter. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up on the bottom. And if you're new to our channel and you're really into pin trading videos or anything Disney, be sure to click subscribe because we've got lots of stuff coming, including a trip to Disneyland, which we're super excited about. But I hope you like this video. Have a good week, guys. Bye.